guys, it's your girl London, and if you're wondering why I'm looking a little crazy today, that is because I'm going to be doing a look from one of my Jaclyn Hill The Vault Palettes. Now, as most of you guys know, The Vault Palettes were released probably two or three months ago in PR, and they didn't have the greatest reception. Um, they had some issues with pigmentation, they had some issues with blending, they had some issues with sticking to the eye, they just all over um, were kind of hit or miss, so Morphe and Jaclyn Hill decided to stop the release, halt everything, and either reformulate or repress we're not really sure kind of what happened um, but they were going to redo something to them to make them better and then they were going to re-release them so what I have is the re-release version of the vault and mine are stamped with V2 I got them from the Morphe website it was $49 I'm looking at the Morphe site now it was $49 for the entire vault collection and after tax um, and shipping it came out to $58.59 like I said my eyes look a little crazy I already have them primed what I primed them with was my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream, um, and this is in the color M19 Cool. This is just a sample size that I have, um, and I have found that I do actually enjoy this as a primer um, because I don't need cancellation as far as like veins and whatnot, but just for you know color pickup and things like that, I found that this is a nice color to go ahead and use on my eyes, um, and that it doesn't make the shadows crease or patchy or anything weird like that. So I wanted to use something that I have been using and that I know hasn't not worked with any of my shadows before when doing this look. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll pull you guys in a little bit more so that you guys can see me more clearly, and we will go ahead and we will get started and we will pick a palette because I don't know which one I'm going to use. Actually, we should do it right now. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I'm not sure which order they're in, so I'm just going to choose this one. So let's go ahead and see what this is. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous, and it's nice because it has this and then it has like a little kind of yellow dots right here so I think this is the yellow palette I keep all my little covers on them um, so yeah so this is the kind of yellow and orange kind of very very authentically fall type palette and fall is right around the corner so this is exciting um, to use like I said I have been if you can see I have some fallout and things because I have been playing with these shadows and trying to do some looks with them and things of that nature the one good thing about these palettes is that there is a mirror um, inside the palette. So for $15 to be able to get a mirror that is, you know, kind of really good. So let's go ahead and like I said, I'll pull you in and we will go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I have my mirror right here. I wanted to put it so that way I am quasi looking at my camera while I'm trying to look at my mirror and put this eyeshadow on. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my color switch and I use this with all of my eyeshadows, all of my brushes, and it's just a way to go ahead and clean your brushes off without having to use any sort of cleanser and have any type of dry time in between switching from one color to the next color. So I think what we're going to start with is we're going to use the color Access in the crease. And Access is just this kind of like mm, mustardy orange yellow type of color. So I want to go ahead and use that. I put my color switch with all my brushes first. And this is going to be the Wingoss number 17 brush. I absolutely love and adore Wingoss brushes. They are my favorite. So I'm just coating my brush. I didn't see, there's not too much fallout in them. Not anything out of the ordinary and natural. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so right now we're just gonna go in and we are going to build this up, which is okay. I mean, not everything has to be, you know, 100% color saturation right off the bat. I don't mind having to build up a shadow and in fact I can prefer that sometimes because that means that I'm in control of kind of um, you know what the color is going to be versus it telling me that no we're going to go to 100 as soon as you put it on there I can choose to build it to 100 I can choose to build it to 50 so I don't mind building a color because that means that I get to control how much I build it to or how little I build it to so I like that and I really do like this color I am somebody who really loves oranges and browns and things of that nature so I really really like this so mm-hmm mm-hmm so far I like I like it builds up just a little bit more okay blend it out a bit okay so this is a nice 
color. Didn't have too much trouble with this. This is nice and smooth. Um, doesn't look patchy. So, yeah. Enjoy that one. So, I think the next color uh, we're going to go in with. Switching up some brushes. And the thing about these is my Wayne Bros Gush... Uh, gushes my Wayne Goss brushes um they have white hair on them I have two or three sets of them and once that has white hair so it like always looks so stained but it doesn't have any product on it this is the Wayne Goss number 19 brush and we're gonna go in I think that we're going to do Smooth Criminal which Smooth Criminal is this kind of um I'd say milk chocolate brown color so we're going to dip into that and I'm just going to put it a little bit below access so I just want to deepen this just a little bit okay 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 so Let's try that a little bit more. When I first put it on, it didn't necessarily look patchy, but it just looked a little bit uneven. But I think that might have been just because the buildup wasn't there yet. It was the first pass. And it's a shadow on a shadow. So sometimes a shadow being applied to another shadow can give the appearance of patchiness at first because clearly it's a powder going over powder. So it does need to be built up a little bit. So now that I'm building it up a little bit more, to like it I want to see I have like super hooded eyes so I'm gonna be able to see it a little bit more so I want to put go just a little higher than I originally went mm-hmm fantastic okay so I feel like this is nice and it feels like it's nice and smooth okay I think that looks good I think it looks smooth I'm enjoying it mm-hmm very much so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Wayne Bro Wayne Gloss. Can I not say Wayne Gloss today? My Wayne Gloss number 17 brush. I'm going to go ahead and go back into access because I just want to go over kind of the edge of Smooth Criminal and make sure it's blended out. And I'm going so light. I want to make sure that not only is the edge blended, but I want to make sure I don't lose too much of this beautiful kind of mustardy color that we have going on there especially because of my skin tone um, I want to make sure that these kind of stay put where I put them and they stay kind of saturated with the color that I want them to have I'm going to go back in with no additional product on my Wayne Goss number 19 brush this is the one that we put on with Smooth Criminal I'm just going to go back into Smooth Criminal and just make sure that everything feels nice and smooth and good so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this kind of random um, e.l.f. This is e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. This doesn't have a number or anything. Um, I think I got this at Target. They're like a dollar. Um, put it in my color switch. And I'm going to use, I think Classified. And Classified is this kind of like goldy brown glitter shade. Um, very pretty so I like that and I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush first because I have found that the only kind of a glitters or shimmers that I don't have to wet are the um, Jeffree Star ones so Jeffree Star I don't have to wet his his I don't know what he formulates them with but they just go on kind of like perfectly without having to wet my brush but everybody else's I have to use this, which is fine a lot of people do just to get the most pigment out of them and because it helps them adhere to the eye I just use the Smashbox um, to finish primer water and all is well so I'm gonna go ahead and I like I said I'm gonna go into classified mm. classified is what I haven't used before okay <laughs> it didn't it's weird okay so not a lot picked up but I could just not be seeing everything it could go on my eye just fine so go ahead and put this on the eye All right, all right. Actually, it's very nice. I like it. Okay. The one thing I am noticing is that I don't have 
a ton of fallout. Like, I can feel a little bit of this uh, classify this kind of a glitter. I can feel a little bit of it falling a little bit down, but it's not like a ton. Like, I don't have, I can't see like pieces of like total messiness everywhere. Perfect, okay. So yeah, I really do like that. With the glitters and like shimmers and stuff, I could do like a padding and then a smooth. So like to pat it on and then kind of smooth out the color. Again, because I have hooded eyes, you know, you gotta work with what you got. Um, with no additional product, I'm going back in with the Wayne Gloss number 19 brush and this is the one that we put Smooth Criminal on. I'm just going to blend out really Smooth Criminal but also the edges of Classified. Especially because with hooded lids, I've just learned that um, I'm okay with the shimmers and glitters kind of going a little bit into my crease when I'm putting it on there. Um, as long as it's nice and it's blended out, I don't have a, too much of a problem. Like I don't do, um, a couple times I've done cut creases, but they're really not my thing. Um, I don't mind it kind of merging together a little bit. I actually think that it gives it a little bit of pizzazz and depth when, a, when you put it there yourself versus it transferring itself there. So I don't, I don't tend to mind it. All right, I really, I'm digging the look. I like it. Okay, so a lot of times I don't do an outer corner color, but I think that this look needs it to ground it. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take this crown brush, and this is just a crown crease brush, and I'm actually just going to use it just to apply color to the corner, but not to blend it out. I'm going to use the color Prowl, and Prowl is this super deep chocolate color right here. Just apply that to the brush and we're just gonna kind of just mark where I want the color to go. And then I'm going to take my Wing Gloss number 19 brush again. That's the one that we put Smooth Criminal on. I'm gonna wipe it off on my color switch. And then I'm just going to lightly blend Prowl out. Alright, alright, so I don't like to blend the I like to blend the edges out on the corner, but I don't like them to kind of like fade away. So I do more like a kind of sweeping. So it's not so much a push, it's kind of like a sweep, like a flicker, um, when I'm doing this. So okay, and then I want to go back in. Again, no more product added to my Wayne Gloss number 17 brush. And then just everything I'm just gonna go over and just make sure it's smoothed out just like this. Like I said, I have used, been, been using these palettes. I have used this palette in particular uh, recently as of yesterday, um, but not this color combination. So, mm hmm like it a lot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a brow bone highlight. I'm gonna put that on with, um, let's see here. I don't know where that brush went to, so we're gonna have to use a different brush. Um, okay, so the brush that we're gonna use is, just again, another little e.l.f. brush, and this is an e.l.f. concealer brush, and this is what I'm gonna use to go ahead and put on my brow bone highlight. And for brow bone highlight, um, hmm. actually, I don't think I'm gonna use one because there's just not, there's not anything that I feel like would really work as a brow bone highlight, so we're just going to go ahead and leave that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do my other eye, I'm going to do um, the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back, and then we'll just go ahead and we'll have a little cheesy chat about this super quickly. Like I said, this isn't a super in-depth review. This is kind of just like a first impression. Um, even though I have used these before, um, I haven't had a lot of time with them, so I still kind of consider this a quasi first impression because I don't feel like I've used the colors enough to really be able to give a true kind of review like hey I've used each one of these five times and they perform the same time every time I don't have that kind of yet so I still feel like this is more of a kind of first impression just kind of play around with that type of thing so like I said let me go ahead and do my other eye do the rest of my face and then I'll come back on camera and I'll get back to you guys hey guys so we are back and I have my cat ear still on because I'm working with second day curly hair and I think the cat ears just kind of 
pull from a little bit of that because I'm realizing that maybe my curly hair isn't second day ready. I think that my curly hair is maybe one and done. Like each day I'm going to have to wash it and get it ready again because it just... It just didn't do what I had hoped it would do, but that's okay. That's okay. It's just living its best life, right? So as you guys can see, I did my other eye. I put on my mascara. I put on some gloss. I put on my foundation. I lined my eyes, and this is the look that I got. So I really, um, it's kind of weird talking with my eyes closed, but I really do like the look. I think that it came out very pretty. I think that it came out with a little bit of pizzazz, but not too much. I think it's totally like work wearable, going out wearable. So I really, really did like it. Again, we use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe, um, Armed and Gorgeous palette. And if you have forgotten, the Armed and Gorgeous palette is this one right here. It's the kind of yellow, brown, green, um, orangey palette. Very, very fall appropriate. And we use the color Power. I'm um, sorry, it's Powell. Power, Powell, and the color's name is Prowl. So we use Prowl, which was that deep chocolate color. We use that in our outer corner. We use the color Smooth Criminal. That was that milk chocolate color that we use in the lower portion of our crease. We use the color Access, which was that kind of like a mustardy, uh, yellowy orange color. And we use that as a transition or a full crease color. And then we use the color Classified, which was kind of the um, shimmer glitter. And that was kind of like a goldy brown color. So all in all, we used four shades out of the... 12 that were in the palette so I don't think that that was too bad um you know if we'd gotten to two more we would have done 50 percent so we were at you know about 40 percent so that's why I say that even though I've used these palettes uh, the last couple days I've been playing with them especially this one in particular um I don't feel like this is a full kind of in-depth review quite yet because I feel like I haven't had time to say like yeah this is tried and true I use that color it's crap yeah tried and true I've used that color it's good but you always need to have a base with it I haven't gotten to that point yet. I've just gotten to the point where I've been using them, but not where I've kind of tested and retested them um, to see if they truly are kind of ant wonky, if they're really good, or if they need to be used for me, at least in a particular manner, and I can kind of give you that information. So for me, this is still quasi like a first impression, even though I have used um, these shadows before. But I thought that it was, surprisingly, it was really good. So, um, you know, I thought that they were smooth, they blended nicely. Now I did notice when I was putting on my foundation, which, you know, I do wear contacts, I don't have like 100% vision, but I noticed that I didn't see it in the monitor and I didn't see it necessarily in my mirror. Once I pulled my mirror closer and I started finishing the look, I did have a little bit of glitter fall on my, um, you know, kind of on my face. And what I did with that was I just took some Bioderma micellar water and I took a cotton round and I just kind of wiped it away. It wasn't a ton, but it was just like a little bit that I could see and I just kind of wiped it away. And one thing that I don't do, and I probably can count the amount of times on my hands I've done, is do the lower lash line with um, eyeshadow and kind of connected it. I like that look, and I've done it with like my Natasha Denona palette with like, um, and I had like kind of like a purple eye look. But I have noticed that for me, it looks fairly good on camera, but off camera, I don't know if it's because I have hooded eyes, if I have smaller eyes, I'm not quite sure, um, but it kind of gives me like a raccoon -y look. So as you can see, I didn't do any lower lash line, um, and that is why, so although I think it looks beautiful on other people, I tend to just line my lashes with um, a liner and then kind of go in with some mascara. Occasionally, I will put some color down there, but it's not frequent because I tend to not like the look over time that it kind of gives me. Um, but yeah, I really, I, I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I really do like the look. I think that it came out really nicely. So I can't wait to continue playing with these palettes, continuing to see what shades are performing well, which shades aren't performing well, if any, what looks I can get out of them. Um, because I want to make sure that each palette too can give me a multitude of looks. Now, I'm not looking for 10, but I'm thinking at least three varying looks. Um, I think that, that is a good amount of looks for, um, any eyeshadow palette really of this size of 12 shades um, to give you is about three varying looks. So I really, like I said, I really like this this look. I think that it was nice. I didn't do any under brow highlight. There was not one in this palette for my color. Um, the one that I think most people would use would be VIP. And I have used this color before. I used it yesterday, and I did not like it as an under brown, uh, under brow highlight. It was chunky. It was way too stark white. It was way too glittery. It was just not something that I enjoyed. So what I'm finding is that I wish that this palette in particular and some of the other palettes had at least always had a uh, matte under brow kind of highlight color cream or something like that. I wish they'd had um, that so that each palette would feel 
a little more complete um, so those are kind of my overview thoughts like I said I want to in the future do kind of more of an in-depth review as far as shade wise as far as which shades I found that did work didn't work how they worked things like that but I hope that this was helpful to you guys um, especially because there are so many kind of you know if and reviews out there and I hope me kind of applying it to my eye kind of helps you guys and then you guys seeing the overall look and hearing just kind of some of my overall thoughts um, for me using the palette kind of helps you guys make your decision on whether or not you want Want to purchase the palettes or not like I said mine are stamped with V2 so I have heard that that means Vault 2 which is the second series because they're supposed to repress reformulate or something however um, I don't know if this is true or not because I did not see the tweet myself but I heard that Jacqueline did tweet and say that the V2 is not for the Vault 2 so I'm not quite sure if it does mean Vault 2 if it doesn't mean Vault 2 um, not sure I've heard that some people have purchased um, some from Ulta and some have V2 some don't have V2, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. I, I, I just don't have the answers for you guys on that one. But overall, for this look, I think that this was appropriate. I think this is nice. I think that if you're just asking me my thoughts just off of this look and kind of some other ones that I've done off camera, I think that for $15, I think that this is an acceptable palette thus far. Like I said, thus far. Um, I don't really like to say that because, and the only reason why I can say thus far is, like I said, because I haven't tested and retested these to kind of get official you know kind of like some solid thoughts on everything um so i don't like to say things are good for drugstore or they're good for the price because for me i like things to just be good for good i don't want to be you're cute for a plus size girl you have a pretty face what does that mean you're either pretty or attractive to somebody or you're not attractive to somebody to me it's not you're pretty for a plus size girl you're pretty for a curly hair girl you're pretty for an african-american girl you are or you aren't to somebody and so I kind of like to think that way about my makeup too I do understand that you can't get a Honda and expect like BMW amenities um, or a BMW engine per se but I still think that a Honda should run you know smoothly the gear should shift smoothly it should still be comfortable it should still get you know appropriate gas miles there's still things that it should get not just because it is a affordable car but because it's a car you know what I'm saying and then things like BMWs and things in that realm have those extra amenities but all the cars should should work they should they should work and so that's kind of how I like to think about my makeup too. Um, so for right now, I think that with what I've used, like I said, not being tested and retested, I think that this is a good palette for $15 from what I've used so far, from the looks that I've been able to get out of it so far. But upon further test and retest, my, my opinions may change, they may not. But for right now, I think that $15, I think that with the fall coming up, these are nice colors. It's a nice color palette. Um, you do have to build up, which for me, I'm okay with that because I like to be in control of my color saturation on my eyes. Um, so if you're somebody who likes to be in control of that, I think that this will this will be something that you'll like. I think if you're somebody who, I ain't got time for that, I don't have time to go in six, seven, 12 times and build this up, I just need a one swipe and done, then this may be something that you're not totally into because you do have to build, okay? This is not gonna be a one swipe where you do have to build, especially if you're somebody of my complexion or deeper, girl, you're gonna, you're gonna be getting those muscles when you're building, you're gonna get those biceps, building because you're definitely gonna have to build these up so i hope this video helps you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope it stayed in focus i don't know i'll have to see when i'm going back and editing so um if you guys enjoyed this video please give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up if you have not already please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified of all my new and my upcoming videos i have plenty of videos on the channel so if you guys want take a look around find something else and until next time guys i will miss you i love you i appreciate you guys always taking your time out of your day to spend it with me when there's so many other people that you could be spending it with in your actual life or here on the youtube so i really do appreciate that every time you guys um, take the time out to watch any part of my video whether it's the beginning and the end the middle all of it not all of it i just i really do appreciate you guys stopping by so until next time i will miss you guys so very very much um, if you guys ever have suggestions, please leave them in the comment box down below. I'm totally open to any suggestions you guys have as far as content or questions or things like that. So just leave it down in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. So until then, I love you guys. Bye.